years past, I had long heard of the myth of a massive anchovy migration lasting months. Moving from the Bay of Panama into the deep waters of Colombia and followed by huge numbers of tuna and sailfish migrating like no other place on earth. Colombia is a large country in the northern tip of South America, lying by 400 miles of undisturbed jungle meeting sea, and millions of hectares of rainforest all throughout the country. It is simply an adventurer's paradise. During the 1970s all the way through the early 2000s, commercial tuna purse-seeners decimated Colombia's fish stocks, transforming the most productive stretch of coastline in the planet, going from Peru all the way to Costa Rica into a mere memory of what it once was. 8 years ago, the native Afro-Colombians of the North Pacific teamed up to fight against the rampant destruction of the fish stocks and their way of life. Not even all the money behind the multi-million dollar tuna mafia was able to defeat the will of the community. And seven years ago, the Sepa was born. Sepa stands for Zona Exclusiva de Pesca Artesanal, exclusively artisanal fishing zone. This means all nets, commercial tuna boats, longliners, and shrimp boats have been banned and kicked out. After this measure was taken, it took just four years for the big fish to return. Seven years later, fish stocks are at historic levels. Fish are now more abundant here than they have been in the last 40 years. sardine migration has been getting bigger and stronger each year. Unlike everywhere else where you hear fish stocks are declining, in Colombia specific there are more fish every day. With thousands of sailfish flooding over deep coastal bays in a spectacle unequaled anywhere on earth. This April, I set out to test the possibilities of fly fishing for free swimming sailfish, sharks, and tuna following this massive migration. Fly fishing for pelagics in Colombia is something completely new. Our goal was simple to shed light on this beautiful, God-touched coastline to turn it into the world-renowned billfish destination it is.
British Columbia Expeditions was born out of my childhood dream to explore and document these vast areas of wilderness. Columbia's Pacific Coast is still a blank space on the map that until then had been kept virgin and unexplored. With no roads, no marinas, no sport fishing boats, and simply no fishing pressure. Let's get it better than this! Oh, no, no, no. Do you need me? 